Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Gloria, and I'm coming to you with a card. And it's sort of like, uh, you know when you're sitting back dreaming and then you got people that don't believe in you? So this is my card to that. And this is my version. I don't know how you think, but I tend to think outside of the box when I'm making my cards. So when I seen this cut, I automatically knew what I was fixing to do. So... Let's get started. The cartridge that I end up using is Art Nouveau. I hope I'm saying it right. But guys, if you like kind of all these different types of uh, images, I'm going to tell you, you're going to love, love, love this cartridge. I wish sometimes in a way I would take all my cartridges out so you can see them. But they're so much better when they put up because I had a full wall just full of cartridges and it just took so much space. So when they came out with the design, uh, Cricut Design Space, I was floored. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I get to put all of that away because it automatically stores your Cricut cartridges for you on the on the software. So this is the, the paper pack that I'm using today. It's called Fabulous and it's from Art 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 Art. Authentic, authenticity, I think. I'm butchering these names, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just happy that I'm here with you guys. So anyway, let's get started. My card is going to be a 5x5. Five five, and I already have this all put together. And the inside is stamped. It says, believe in yourself, never give up. And that set is from the My Creative Time with Emma. And this set is called You Matter. So... When I seen this, it is amazing. Then I also used a die from the Cut and Emboss Momenta, and it's called Dreamer. And what I ended up doing was passing it onto my silhouette so I could get an out shadow. And here goes the Dreamer, and I think it came out so awesome, guys. But anyway, it's going to be a really quick card because I kind of put everything today uh, together because I'm on a type of... Uh, uh, time span because my daughter's coming down and you know I had to definitely get everything ready and plus today I was in the clinic with my son and we finally got a diagnosis for him so we're on to the next chapter of his um, problem that he's been having for the last eight to nine months so I'm happy about that guys definitely happy so the inside, as you can see, it says, and I could have decorated a little bit more. I wanted some flourishes, but I didn't take it all out or anything like that because I just wanted it to be kind of simple. So let's start with the the front of the card, which it's going to be simple and easy, guys. So let me bring you guys in, move you over. And here goes the paper pack that I used from that, that stack. And those colors are beautiful. So let me adhere this down. Now my cut is a 4 by 5 Okay, guys? And I end up using a peachy king face, which, you know, you have to use a peachy king face. And I just love how the face came out. To me, she kind of favors a Latin girl. I could be wrong, but in my eyes, that's what it looks like. So right now I'm just going to end up putting this down. And I want to bring it all even. And then now since I have my card base. And remember this is a five and a half by five and a half. Okay guys. And then the Peachy King face that I end up using is the Fashionista 2 face assortment. And look at how cute guys. You cannot tell me that these darn faces are not the cutest. Wow, I just love them. I am so glad when Peachy King came out with their stamp sets. And I ended up finding them because, I, like I said years ago in my videos, and I will say it again. My cuts do not come out looking good because I do not draw. So I cannot draw a face worth to save my life, okay? I can't even draw a stick, man. And that's pretty bad, guys, okay? So, I end up using this face right here. And the cut that I end up called is called Maiden. Or uh, Maiden. I think it's called Maiden. Maiden. Thank you, Christian. 
So, okay guys, are you ready for this cute, cute, cute card? Now you gotta definitely let me know what you guys think, okay? Definitely leave it down in the comments and let me know because it inspires me to do more things, okay guys? So, here we go. Here goes a little peek. There goes the peek, peek, peek. You see how cute? And now there she goes, guys. So you tell me what you think about her face. I think she need a little new nal. And a nunata is like a beauty mark on her face. But, you know, I didn't want to mess it up in no kind of way. So I ended up using the biggest uh, face stamp for this. And I popped up her head. And I popped up the flower, you know, because us Latin people, we love, love, love to have flowers in our hair. So now with this, I'm just going to add it flat down. I'm not going to add no uh, foam dots, pop dots, or anything for the simple fact. I have the sentiment popped up, plus I already have the face popped up, so it will probably too much, be too much. So now I'm going to add just some glue to the end of the hair. And then I'm just going to add some to the other side so it can adhere down because I could not use the big gun. I'm trying to put this together. Milo, Peppa. Sorry guys, I also want to tell you my dog's already turned two years old guys. Their birthday was yesterday. And my baby's turned two years old. I'm super, super, super excited with this. So there goes the glue. And it's just going to be really simple and easy. And now, I'm going to place her down in the middle. And I think this came out super cute, guys. I so do love this cut. And I've been having this cartridge for a long time. I think I used it one time. And to me, it all depends on what I'm doing and how I'm, what I have to encourage me. And when I saw this girl, I was like, oh my God, the Peachy King face. I know exactly what I'm going to use for her. It's going to be so stinking cute. So look at how cute. Tell me she don't look so beautiful, guys. Look at that. Okay. So now, like I said, this cut right here is from the Momenta Dreamer. As you can see, it says Dreamer right there. And what I did was pass it on to my silhouette to make an uh, offset shadow. So I kind of measured this, took a picture of it, passed it into my silhouette, so I could just get the out band of it. And I have this popped up. So I'm just going to take that adhesive off. And now I'm going to lay this thing right down. And I just want to make sure that it's going to be even. And before I press down on it, I want to make sure that it's even. And to me, it kind of looks a little bit even. So now I'm just going to press down on it. And I could put some bling. I could, um, what else? I could do a multitude of things. Hold on a second. I might just do that. So now I'm just going to take out a pearl. And I think I'm going to see if I could put like some earrings on her. Would that look all right? And first, I need to get the tweezers so I can position it to see if it's going to look all right. And I think it's going to look good. So now I'm just going to put that down right there. And you know, no, I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it in the flower. So let me get my tweezers back. And put it right there on the flower. And that looks really good right there. 
and I'm going to get another one and put it in the bottom of the flower right there pressing it down and I think I could use one more on the top flower So, and there you go, guys. So, there goes my card. Now, guys, tell me what you think about her face and how the cut is. I think the colors are phenomenal. I definitely, definitely, definitely love her face. And, guys, it is the Peachy Keen 1705 Fashion Easter 2 Face Assortment. Now, these also go for the Julie... Uh, uh, for the uh, dolls from um, uh, Prima Dolls. So if you have the Prima Dolls, guys, you need to definitely get this set, okay? So there goes my card, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please share, like, leave a comment. Let everybody know about my channel. And I so do appreciate your support. And until next time. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. This is going to be so amazing. I just so love this cut. And when I showed my husband, he turned around, he told me that it looks like a Latin girl. So I was like all for it after that, after he told me that. So guys, I'll talk to you soon. You have a good one. Bye now.